Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the How They Did It series. I am Moyoluwa Ogunjabi. Now, if you haven't watched any of the previous episodes, you should definitely check them out, especially if you'll be taking the WASE or UTME this year. Now, on this episode, another brilliant scholar, Gideon Adeni Yisani, will be sharing with us his experience on the UTME. In this video, Gideon will be walking us through his preparation process. Now, something interesting you should know about Gideon is that this guy started studying for the UTME about a week to his exam. Yes, I was also surprised when I heard that. Well, for those of you that feel like you do not have much time to prep for the exam, I think you could pick out one or two tips from his story. And I am certain you will find his story motivating. Now, all links and textbooks mentioned in the video will be in the description. If you also wish to connect with Gideon after watching the video, his social media handles will also be in the description. If you have any questions or comments, kindly put them in the comment section and either Gideon or I will respond to your questions. Now, do not forget to like the video and to share with those who you think might find it useful. Enjoy. So, um, my name is Gideon Adeni Sani and I had a three to in jam with an 89 in chemistry. Good. So your first question, how did you prepare for the exam? Like, how did you prepare for the exam? What were your unique study techniques? Stuff like that. Okay. So um, generally, uh, I wouldn't really say I, you know, uh, most of the time, like, maybe just like a month or two months before the exam, people start preparing. But for me, actually, like the day I sat down and said, okay, I'm reading for jam was a week to the exam. But it's, it's not like I, I, I just started reading all of a sudden. The thing about exams is that like from day one of, of yeah. probably high school or something, you've already started preparing for the exams subconsciously. But if you don't take like, study seriously there is definitely no way you can just ace the exam in a week so but um so i think from right from when i was in ss ss2 like i had already started i knew i would like write jam and i knew i wanted to score high so i already went through test books like i finished some text textbooks during that period so like a week before the exam Okay, I said to I said to down and because my main focus was in physics, I suspected I would score my lowest in physics. So I used like out of out of like seven days in a week, I used about five just to prep for physics. Then I it was a night before the exam. I went through my chemistry textbook. That night I finished the chemistry textbook, but it was because I had already gone through it before. It was just like breezing through something I already knew, just to refresh my knowledge. All right. So what about so, practicing past questions? Because many students tend to ask me questions on past questions. Okay. Yeah. Um, I went through a lot of past questions, actually. Like, I think um, generally they are helpful, very helpful. Because although um, when, I was, when I was practicing, I wasn't getting up to 300, though, but as I was still getting 200 and something, so, but I think generally it was helpful because it helped me like on, on know my weakness and my strengths. So, like, did you practice like all the questions in the in the book? No, 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 no definitely. <laughs> how many not. years? Like um, how? I think um from like two thousand and maybe two thousand and ten upwards. Okay. I think I practiced more, and most especially chemistry. I don't know. I was um I kind of love practicing past questions in chemistry. So, but I, I didn't really do them for physics and maybe math. I, I went through past questions. Well, for physics and English, no, I, I didn't really go through past questions. All right. So, um, did you attend the tutorial? No. No. Okay. No. So, why, why didn't you attend the tutorial? Because this is one question that students come and ask me that, for example, I attended the tutorial. And then they'll ask me like, okay, I want to self study because I don't, I, I don't have like access to a good tutorial. If I go for a tutorial, it's like going to be wasting my money. So like, how can yeah. I self study? So like, since you do not attend the tutorial, tell us how you did it. Okay, so um, um, actually, my the way my 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 I was brought up, like all of us generally, we are four in the family. So uh, we never really, my parents never actually like 
um they never like saw um any like sense in maybe bringing bringing a teacher to teach. I don't know why. Although I, I maybe at some point maybe in my primary school, but they always like try to make us like work hard on our own. Yeah. You get so it was more like a task that I should like personally fulfill. You get so and I mean probably our fin our financial this thing wouldn't have allowed for mm -hmm. me to attend a tutorial. So based on the fact that I saw my brother do it on his own, I was like, nah, I can do it on my own too. Right. So um, so students that are planning on self-studying, like how how would you advise they go about it? Like how many you know hours per day, how many subjects per day, stuff no. like that. How would they like do it on their own? Which okay, let's not talk about textbooks now. Just talk about that one. Okay. So um I think as much time as possible. Mm -hmm. Especially if you've not you've not like covered a lot of stuff. That's and the exam is very near. I'm saying specifically for SS3 students who so, uh, I think the UTM is coming up around uh, May or so. So yeah, it's very close now at the moment, like less than three months, and you've written the exam. So if you haven't started studying, uh, there's an ad, uh, there's an adage I, I heard. They say the best time to plant a tree um, was yesterday, but the second best time is now. Now, if you haven't started grooming yourself before, I think you should start immediately. And one thing I personally like to do, I oh, like I can't let a day go without me like at least reading something in let's say four hours at least four hours in a day out of since four hours. So if every day at least you pump in four hours for studies, there is definitely no way you you won't score up to three hundred. So. And you can you can okay you can share the time and you have to identify your weakness first so you put more efforts in those particular areas then i think for, that, that's pretty all that's pretty all all right so i think you've already answered this question but let me know if you still want to talk about this when did you start studying for the exam and when do you believe is the ideal time to begin preparation so this question when my students come yeah. to me, they'll be like, um, when you said you start, you prepare for jam in one month, can I also prepare for jam in one month? Can I prepare for jam in three <laughs> months? And can I and I'm like, see, jam is a lot, like there's a lot to cover. So it depends on your foundation, to be honest. So yeah. what's your own advice? When did you start preparing and what do you believe is okay. the ideal time? Okay. So um I know personally, I feel like you can even prepare for jam in in even in even a month. Even a month is even much. But it's still, like you said, it's still based on your foundation. Because let's say you read a lot of stuff. What you just need is just to practice so that you know how to like shape them to directly focus on like jam syllabus or questions or you get. So, but the ideal time like to start is like from the, mo the moment you enter high school for me. <laughs> but you can always do it. You can always do it. And um, if you schedule your time properly seriously so like i said before i i i actually settled down to prep in just a week it's very doable and when i mean just a week like every 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 like minute i was on my book i was reading so like the whole day my parents just excused me from doing work because normally there's plenty of work in the house so they knew that i had to like settle down and you know make my last so wait, uh, i have a, i have a question for you why did you wait okay the last week so you actually sat down <laughs> cooks <laughs> <laughs> okay so um i don't know i'm just like, busy, i don't know why i actually busy? like i don't know why i actually just like deadline <laughs> i don't know it's, it's actually in the blood because the same thing with my with my brothers uh, it's just there so uh, it's just this kind of pressure you know you are you are tense like the exam is near and oh I, Okay, what, what I wanted to do, because I think that week, I, I did not know I was going to write like that week. I did not print out my edition early. So when I, when I printed it, I was like, wow, I'm writing on Saturday. And that was like Sunday or Monday. So I said, nah, I, I just have to score like, I, I needed to score above 300. So I just I just scheduled myself and I scheduled my uh, my edition, my activities. I knew... I knew I just had to score 300. Like, it was just the mindset for me. So, 
as I set my mind that I I wanted to score three hundred, so I I prepped and that. Was- all right, so let's go into the optional questions. The first one, what would you do differently if you had to retake the exam like as a first timer? Okay. <laughs> uh, when I ask your time to think through, we still have time. Like if there anything. Okay. Okay, I was saying something. I said when I asked my brother, he was like, if he was if he was to do something differently, like he said he won't he won't take a lot of like liquid stuff because when he was in the hall like he was really pressed <laughs> oh okay so, yeah so and you know you, you can't you can't pause your time yeah when, when you are there. Be- many people don't know like they don't they don't think about it before the exam and it affects actually like you just want to rush up so that you can go and use yourself and yeah. you just tend to like just scatter your whole mm-hmm. stuff so that's what you you will do differently, maybe. Mm-hmm. But possibly because I, I it happened to me too. It mm-hmm. actually happened to me. So, but aside that, um, okay, I think if I was if I was to write this exam again, um, I think I was start preparing earlier, like instead of one week, <laughs> maybe a, a month to like intense preparation. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you said you are not always a top student. Um, if yeah, if that's true, how did you persevere? Like, how did you change your story? Okay. Tell us a little about your academic background first. Like, how? Um, you- okay. Okay. From, I think prim- primary school was always not that difficult. Yeah. Maybe you probably have, you pro- um, people, people didn't really read to like pass exams. I, me, I personally, I doubt I read maybe just a little. Then, junior secondary i i attended government schools and then i saw like i went to schools that had so much like uh, had a large population in a class we we're up to like 80 or so yeah so that was then i i knew i had to like struggle to to uh, be among the best but then it was it was too tasking although junior school wasn't too difficult so i think i was just maybe probably among the top 10 out of like it's something so then senior secondary was now the was now the main one. So I, I when I encountered courses like chemistry, physics, they were advanced and more difficult. So like I struggled actually. I struggled to because you know I had I had I I have a brother who like during his secondary school he was like very, very high achieving. Like he was always perfect from day one. So he was always the best throughout. So anytime, anytime like my my parents are talking to me they'll be like can't you be like your brother you, you have to uh, hey you get yes. yes so um when i when i was struggling in high school i just what i did was i, I just looked for like my motivation like what could keep me going and, and my my brother was actually his story was actually very motivating to me so i was always like i can i can be like him i can be like him like personally it's just to find your motivation what can keep you going and from there i think that's all. From there, I I was always I was always there really, from. I was really you made it to like you had the best UTME results in your. Yeah, life. that's wonderful. Yeah. All right, thank you. What was the one subject that you found most difficult, and how did you handle it? Okay, um, physics. Physics was my most difficult was, uh, my most difficult subject. So um, I said I I put it like enough time to prepare for physics like. I I used the whole week or almost the whole week to to solve questions and I went through textbooks from textbooks to pass questions and I I checked I when I went through them I was always checking for topics I was weak at yeah like I I made note of them and I think I I improved I actually that that one week of intense practice was was what helped me although I came out of the um example the physics um example and I was like. Or more, I, I think I scored less than fifty. <laughs> but but generally, sure, I think I keep. I think it was it came out. Where I I had the seventy two. So, um, you said my my motivation during the process. Yeah. Okay. So, so my motivation was that like, okay, I when I I said I like sat down one day and I was like, okay, uh, there are many students who actually score high on the UTM, like three hundred. 
and Abu. So I was like, uh, even even though the the percentage of candidates like that score three hundred and above are so little, I asked myself, why can't I be among that percentage? Yeah. So I was right from time I was booming my mindset to achieving that already. So I, I I was always like watching videos like like this one now currently that we are making. I was watching videos like this and I. I watched how people talked about how they scored 300 and above. And they talked about how they, how they prepped, how they read stops, how they were motivated by different things. So I, these were the things that were grooming my motivation. Right from time, I was always like motivated. And I was, I made friends with like people who, yes, you get, who were, who were trying to achieve these stops too. So I was grooming my motivation. So I think generally the, these are the things that motivated me. Like now, my brother that I read with for the exam, both of us had the same score for the end of 302. So I think it, the, 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 the right thing is just to like find the right people around you that can actually keep you going. Not like today you say you want to get 300 and the next day you, you are tired of reading or it doesn't work that way. All right. Um, thank you. Okay. Um, and then the last one. What textbooks would you recommend for the subjects you took on the exam? Okay. Um, okay. For for chemistry, I I used I used them um, understanding chemistry and and new school. Yes, it was new school. So but personally, I, I think I prefer I preferred new school, but understanding was more explanatory. But I it was because I had already started reading new school uh, from SS1. So, like, I just flowed more with it. So, I think you should actually find a book that you flow with properly. Yeah. And you try and, like, finish that book. So, if you flow with the book, like, it would be easy for you. So, I, I think new school was preferable to me. But I still, like, went to understanding at times when I saw some concepts in new school that I didn't understand. All right. Then, so, for mathematics, I think for me, new general math is actually a nice book for, for math. Then there was this um there was this book, although it, it was like a compilation of past questions. I can't remember. Damn something, remit. something I, is it? Damn remit. No, no, no. Something Damn something life. prep. I, I can't really remember the name of but I know it had prep in it. Oh. Um Shall anyhow, but I, I think that, that book actually helped me mass aside my aside my new general mass. So it helps me. I, for mass, I, I more of practice with past questions because I think the con the I the questions in mass or the topics were they are not really that like wide or they are not really vast for I think to me, to me personally. So I, I just focused more on practicing past questions because I had already known most of those topics then for physics i i think I, it was all inclusive i used it's a very nice book for calculation then new school physics yes then for english it was um a to z jam chem uh, jam english yes yeah yeah wait 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 we're not done there is one last question <laughs> and this one i'll give you time to like take time to answer okay. What is your own personal piece of advice for students, for jam aspirants out there, people that want to take the exam this year and beyond? What's your own, your own new personal piece of advice? Okay. So, uh, my personal piece of advice. Yeah, take your time. Okay. 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 So, um, okay. To, to me, I think, okay, like I said before, um about the adage that the best time to plant a tree was yesterday the second best time is now so if you haven't started preparing yet you should like immediately like don't waste any for that time after watching this so um aside that aside you need to like find like things to motivate you throughout the process because it's actually very daunting like the stress of reading especially when it's coupled with so many other activities like uh -huh. like if you're in school or if you're working or something so i think you should just find like um find things that can actually keep you going in these like places or activities like i said in school now for example you can find friends that during free periods you can maybe organize 
um maybe uh what, what do they call it like organized group this okay. discussions yes where you discuss like um topics or something like that or you you can personally meet teachers you get all these things are actually motivating and they are going towards performing well in the exam okay yeah so that's the end so much for participating in how they did it <laughs> I really appreciate it because it actually takes a lot of courage for you to come and you know show yourself on camera, and yeah. for all of the advice you've given to us, I'm very sure that students out there will find it useful. So thank you, I appreciate it. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Too. Yeah. Okay.